Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries November 29, 2022. The moon begins the day in your solar second house, continuing to draw out your desire for comfort and familiarity. It's a time for grounding yourself. As the day advances, life gets a little busier, or perhaps it's about your craving for something more. Life doesn't feel very organized in spots today, and you may need to adapt to this. Tensions may stem from worries about the things you haven't done. You could feel a little scattered if you have far too much to do but are at a loss regarding where to begin. You might also have a strong feeling that work and daily routines are weighing you down when you'd much rather take part in more freeform activities. It's time to get naughty and sultry. The stars today and tomorrow are cooking up plenty of ferocious opportunities for sex and passion. Mighty Mars, the red planet of drive and energy, is across the sky from you in your solar seventh house of partnerships, and he'll link up with the great taskmaster, Saturn. You'll be eager for pleasure and indulgence. Another way this could affect you is that it may propel you and your significant other to head out on a sudden trip or plan one for the year ahead. If you do, you may both feel swept up in your romance, regardless if you've been together for a year or 50 years. Share your unique perspective. Typically, you are not afraid to speak up and stand out, not even in a work environment. So, as the moon enters unconventional Aquarius today, you may feel more emboldened to voice your opinions. The moon in Aquarius is unafraid to be authentic and honest, which will help you be more direct than ever before. You might find an atypical way to convey your thoughts and feelings, too. However, be open to opposing views since the fixed lunation could potentially make you a little more stubborn than usual. Before leaving your income sector today and wrapping up a visit that saw it form a friendly aspect to planets on the job and career fronts yesterday, the moon will align with Pluto, as it does with each monthly visit. The difference this time is the planet of change and revolution is not only getting restless, but Mercury is just 9 and Venus, the planet of money is just 12 days away from joining him to bring this financial year home. You may experience an increase in perspective of some kind. It's especially important now to focus on a diet of healthy foods that nourish your mind as well as your body. Really limit the amount of processed food you eat you may want to purge your home of unhealthy food sources that lie in wait for those weak moments. Ask your local organic grocer if there is a farmer's club, you can join an economic way to have organic produce on a regular basis. It's your day today. With the essence of this day just full of your natural vibration, you'd be pretty hard pressed to have a bad day. As spending time with others, especially in a helping role, is one of your fondest activities, consider doing this today. Call up a friend or a family member and see about making a visit. If it's been a long time since you've seen someone who lives far away, consider making some flight plans to see them. You'll both benefit from this. Whether it is the moon's final hours in your income sector or its return to your relationship sector today, it is punching well above its weight in terms of significance as well as leaving you with a sharp nose for money just nine days before Mercury will return to help bring this financial year home, the moon leaves you with valuable insight across the income, work and career fronts. It is then that the moon will return to your communication sector to make it easier to express yourself, just as a powerful alliance between Saturn here and Mars in your relationship sector begins. The moon returns for one of its most well-timed visits to your communication sector of the year. This second visit since Saturn's direct turn here and since Mars turned retrograde in your relationship sector was always going to see the moon connect with both over the coming days. However, it comes just as Mars and Saturn have joined forces to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. Our eyes in the sky. You might feel as though others are talking down to you right now or intentionally making your life difficult. You might be forced to buckle down and push forward with your agenda despite these obstacles. If you find that actualizing change just isn't in the stars right now, give yourself a few days and try again once the resistant energy dissipates. 
The pace slows and suddenly a great realization comes to you. When you move too fast, you often miss the details that help everything come into place more easily. Today, however, you are able to move more slowly, and this is making all the difference. You are likely to get so bogged down with work today that you get overwhelmed. You may not even realize it, but deep down, difficult emotions are welling up inside you. By the time the end of the day rolls around, you may be an emotional wreck. While everyone seems to be slowing down, you are actually speeding up. Others are confused and muddled, while everything is quite clear and easy in your mind. You are right where you need to be. Move toward your goals with speed and confidence. There is an element of mystery that you just can't seem to get a grip on. The map you are looking at bears no resemblance to the landscape in front of you. This is not a time to press forward. This is a time to hold back and exercise caution. This evening, when the moon changes signs to innovative Aquarius, you'll find that you're full of bright ideas. A connection between the sun and the moon heightens passion and emotion, granting us moments of brilliance. Be sure to write down any nuggets of wisdom your brain dreams up so you can manifest them later. In the pre-dawn hours, the Capricorn moon sextiles Neptune in Pisces, stimulating our imagination. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and we should expect our dreams to be especially vivid. We may even have dreams within dreams. If we are awake, this will be a good influence for working on creative or artistic projects. We will have particular ease communicating spiritual or numinous concepts through poetry, film, or music. Transformation is the name of the game as you take a more critical approach toward your own work. Doing so is key. Once you take off the rose-colored glasses, you start to see that everything is not quite so perfect as you had imagined it to be. Be amazed at how much you can learn from this special report, find out the following details, the way you perform and react to your lover, including your thoughts and self-expression when making love. Exactly what you value and need most from your lover. The driving force of your sexuality as well as your capacity and desire for lovemaking, plus the improvements you can make. Gain confidence in your ability to make your lovemaking a special experience, far beyond what you believed possible. For maximum enjoyment from your sexual relationship share your intimate lover reports. Reveal the most exciting ways to satisfy one another. After sunup, the moon and Pluto align in Capricorn, intensifying emotions and causing us to be overly judgmental of ourselves or others. It's possible to spiral into self-deprecating or fearful thoughts. We are not thinking rationally now. Our better judgment has been hijacked by anxiety. Worst case scenarios seem like the only options. At this time, the only way out is through. We require this confrontation with our shadow side. Only then will we be able to take back our power from phantom aggressors.